Oh, really? There's two stones. All the balls. That means it's gone through. Yeah. acceptable anymore. Ah. You don't want to poison people. Right, right. Uh, what was it, 15 years or so ago in Ethiopia, they had a lot of lead poisoning cases. Somebody was grinding way too long and was grinding up the lead that holds them in. If you look, that's pretty much flush. Wow. There's at least an inch, inch and a half of stone that's missing. 
runner, we try to run it at 60 RPM, so once a second that's going around, which really tends to shake the building. I just core the biggest timbers under here because there's about 10,000 pounds of rocks in it. The cat walk sections that lift up and then this board slides back so you can have access at the I uh, see. The big nut will turn, but you need to lift it about nine inches, swing it out. Yeah. We have six by sixes. Yeah. So you build a stack, as you bring it out, you flip it over, set it on the stack. Uh-huh. You can stand next to it and clean it. You start with a scrub brush and a sweeper, an air gun, a dental pick, whatever you think you need. While it's setting there, it's not going to, I don't know how strong this is, I'm not going to find out. <laughs> if, you, if you don't flip it, then you have to lay on the floor and scrub over your face. And you get flour dust or, or cornmeal dust and stuff in your face. Yeah. And again, if the thing breaks, the greasy spot on the floor will have your name tag. Ooh. I really wouldn't want to think these, about these that. These came from the mill in Pennsylvania that we got our stuff from. Uh, the mill was supposedly 1845, but they might have been used stones when they got them. 